Hello and welcome to another lesson from the SAP HANA Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify long-running queries and other transactions, also known as expensive statements. We'll use the SAP HANA Studio for this lesson, and we'll look at setting up the trace for expensive statements as well as looking at the output from the default view populated by the trace. To start, we'll need to look at the system overview for our database in SAP HANA Studio. I've already opened the overview for my database, but this can be opened by double-clicking on the desired system name in your list of SAP HANA systems. If you have any traces that are running, there will be an indicator in the overview page right below the current alerts and messages section. Now to start a trace, including the one for expensive statements, we'll go to the Trace Configuration tab. And now we'll click on the Edit Configuration icon for the expensive statement trace. We'll select the Active option for the trace status. And the threshold is currently set for one second in total. We'll press uh, the Finish button to keep this default setting. And if we go back to the Overview tab and press the Refresh button, we'll now see that there is an indicator for active traces. To view the data that is being returned by the trace, click on the Performance tab and then the Expensive Statements Trace tab. And this is a list of all of the transactions that have a duration greater than the threshold setting in the trace configuration. And uh, remember that value we left at the default of one second. This list will also include transactions undertaken by the HANA system, such as those done by the statistics server. We can filter the transactions so that we only see the ones related to the desired database. To do this, we can simply type the database name into the filter text box. In our case, I'm going to test, type STS as that's the name of our sample database. And a more complex filter can also be applied using the add filter dialog. So now if we scroll to the right in the return data, we'll see that we're only returning transactions related to the STS database. And if we look at the duration in milliseconds column, we can note that some of these transactions are taking over 30 seconds to complete. But please note that these are SQL queries that I had run beforehand in order to have data populated for this lesson. Normally you would not see any data in this list until after any applicable transactions had been completed. So if we wanted to have a more in-depth look at the actual query syntax um, for these objects, we can press the Save as File button and save the results in a text file. If you're not using SAP HANA Studio to find this data, you may be interested in directly accessing the view for the expensive statements. To find the view, open your sys folder for your database, and then open the views subfolder. And when you scroll down, you will see many monitoring views which start with the letter M. So we're going to right click on the M underscore expensive statements view and choose open data preview. Now we can do a bit of graphical analysis on this view by pressing the analysis tab. And while we're in the chart tab, Let's drag the DB user field over to the labels access dialog and then the transaction ID 
to the same dialog. And then we'll add the duration in microseconds to the values axis. Now in the values axis dialog, click on the downward facing triangle and we're going to change the summary type to average. And that'll just give us a more accurate value for the resource cost of each of these transactions. Now we'll see that transaction for the system user, uh, and specifically transactions 24 and 30, are the most expensive transactions. Now if we go back to the raw data tab, we can add a filter for the DB user. And we're going to set the user equal to system. And we could also add a filter for the individual transaction IDs that we mentioned before, but there's not that many in the list, so we don't really need to do this right now. And if we scroll to the right, we can see some of the object names representing which tables are being used in the transactions. And if we scroll further, we can see the statement strings uh, that are using or being used, sorry, in the transactions. And again, if we wanted to have a more in-depth look at the actual query syntax, we can press the save as file button and save the raw data results into a text file. This concludes the lesson on how to set up a trace for and then identify any long running transactions, also known as expensive statements. Thanks again for using the SAP HANA Academy, and I hope that you have found this video helpful.